For the more than 100 accusers of Harvey Weinstein, the New York appeals court decision to overturn his conviction hit hard. My first reaction was a total visceral one. Our hands were shaking so much. Actor Ashley Judd, who publicly accused Weinstein of sexually harassing her, speaking out. This today is an act of institutional betrayal. Weinstein was charged with crimes in New York involving three women and convicted in 2020 of rape and sexual assault. But that trial also included testimony from three other women who made allegations that never led to charges. In the four to three decision, a majority of the Court of Appeals concluding the trial court made egregious errors, erroneously admitting that testimony, calling it unnecessary. Don Dunning was one of the three other women. She says she doesn't regret testifying. I am a stronger person for having done so. I urge the district attorney to retry this case. And on your left. Weinstein was once at the top of Hollywood, but in 2017, the New York Times uncovered decades of allegations involving sexual misconduct. When he was arrested back in 2018, Savannah sat down with Oscar-winning actress and Weinstein accuser Mira Sorvino. How does that feel after everything you've been through? It's him finally facing real, real criminal consequences for his criminal behavior. And so for that, I feel gratified. It was the start of the Me Too movement. Some now worried the overturning of his New York conviction is a major setback. I definitely worry that that sets a precedent, but we will keep fighting. Weinstein's attorneys applauded the decision. You can't throw out a hundred years of legal precedent because someone is unpopular. All right, Kay, so what's next in this case? Well, so the Manhattan District Attorney has said that they will do everything in their power to retry this case. It, it remain, he remains right now in a prison in upstate New York. He's going to be moved, Weinstein, somewhere closer to New York City so that he can have access to his attorneys. And, and don't forget that he also has a case going on in California. He was convicted of rape there, and he's sentenced to 16 years in California. His attorney in L.A. says the New York decision is going to have significant impact on his appeal in California. Which is interesting. I think more as a practical matter, they're making some of the same types of arguments in California, mm -hmm. although in that case, California exactly. law, different court, different judges. Right, yeah. right. But his attorney in L.A. definitely thinks that this, what happened in New York, is going to have a bearing on what happens in California because they may argue that it was the same kind of situation where other people were brought in to talk about prior mm -hmm. situations and that might not that might not hold. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Kate. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.